Real estate signs in the past were so important that agents had two or three of them in their trunk, back of their truck. Behind the real estate offices, there were 30, 40, 50 signs or sign holders. They were that important. But the market has shifted. Now, I don't just mean the real estate market. I mean the technology market. I mean, web-based companies make it where real estate signs are not nearly as important as they used to be. All I'm saying is, it's a sign of the times. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Call a click, 404 Eclipse. So you have a new agent, so proud to put her sign out. It's got her first listing. Hey, my hat's off to them, right? But it's in the back of the subdivision in a cul-de-sac. 12 people see it, right? Tops. <laughs> see that sign, and they're the homeowners that live near the cul-de-sac. And it's not doing nearly what it did just... 10, 12 years ago when it came to giving that property exposure. I mean, they've got coming soon, they put on the top. Uh, under contract, full basement, acreage included, uh, price reduction. They'll go out and update their signs. That, listen to this. They will reduce the price on the MLS and then drive out there and, and take the header off and put re, just reduced on the top. And before they do that, they're getting three or four phone calls from agents or individuals, you know, consumers, Joe and Mary Ordinary, calling them about that property before they can even get out there to the property to put the just reduced header on top of the sign. Here, here's my point. In, anyone that thinks signs mean the same that they meant just 10 or 12 years ago has missed it. I mean, listen, the Real Estate Commission in most states says that the company's logo has to be bigger than your own logo or your own team name or your own phone number, right? Why, why was it like that? Because signs gave exposure to not just the agent, but to the, to the real estate company. And, and it was, and listen, it's still published that your logo, your phone number can't be the same size, has to be smaller than the logo and phone number of your brokerage. Why was that? It's because signs used to give a whole lot of exposure. Simply not the case anymore. You'll have people calling their agents saying, hey, my house isn't selling, even though it's probably 50000 above what they should have it listed for. But they're going to blame the agent that the house isn't selling or we're not getting showings because the sign got knocked over or the sign's an older version of the same logo or, or something. You know, who, who knows what? The sign didn't get out there for a week or 10 days, and that's why they didn't get any showings. It has nothing to do with that. I know that. And most agents watching this know that. But the general public still thinks the sign makes the deal. It doesn't. Now, here's when you need a sign. You got a listing on a country road, maybe even a country highway, and it's a mile and a half between the last stop and maybe two or three miles. Uh, you see your house. If it's miles between stops, people are screaming past the house. Yeah, you probably need a sign there more than ever. It's kind of a it's kind of a landmark. Hey, you'll see the sign on the right about a mile and a half after that last intersection. Very important. But here's my question to you. Somebody somebody relocating from Nebraska on the other side of the country, that person, that couple, that buyer, does it matter if the sign is in the yard? Does it matter? Do they does the sign even carry an ounce of weight as far as exposure? The answer is no. You can reduce the price, and before you get out there to put the header on, folks are calling you because of the online presence. It's, it's, it's really that simple. So yard signs, yeah, I know agents really get a big kick out of putting them in the ground when they get a listing, which is nice. It's also nice pulling them out of the ground right after the closing. That's actually nicer. Call me anytime. It's Reggie Moon with Eclipse USA and Associates, brokered by EXP.